All right, hi. Uh, this is my first video uh, for the controlsfreak.com. I'm Abel Ramirez, and I am the Controls Freak. Um, I started this little video series actually. Uh, I was playing around at the uh, recent project that we were doing with uh, a burn unit ICU, which used a humidity control system uh, that needed to maintain uh, heat and humidity uh, in the rooms due to the patients uh, being severely burned and needing to maintain the temperature close to a body temperature, uh, as well as keeping it kind of moist in the rooms. That way, I guess, to help with the uh, healing process and the fact that uh, you don't want uh, it to be very dry uh, in that area. Uh, so in these ICU rooms, uh, playing with the PID loops, I thought it'd be a great opportunity to uh, share with you um, how PID loops work and how I kind of tune them a little bit. Uh, so what we have here, uh, we're not going to talk too much in this video about the actual system that we have here, um, but more importantly, we're going to look at uh, the different parts of the PID loop, and in this video, uh, talk about the first type, which is a proportional only loop type, which is right here. Uh, so essentially, just go over a couple of points. Um, on a PID loop, you actually need to have two different bits of information. You need to be able to have an input, uh, which we have here. We're going to be dealing with the uh, duct relative humidity. And you're also going to need to have a set point, um, and that's this green one, green box here for our duct relative humidity set point. Uh, based on what it receives on the input, uh, and then it compares that to the set point, it spits out a percentage. Uh, and for right now, this is going to be our percentage for our PID loop. Uh, that normally is written in programming to say make the valve or the humidifier valve equal whatever the PID loop is. So as your input or your duct humidity in this case moves uh, based on your set point it's going to adjust the uh, CO percentage or the uh, PID loop. If you hear me say CO uh, that's mainly because in uh, Delta controls they have a PID loop uh, object, a BACnet object called CO. So if you hear me see CO or controller uh, it's also meaning the PID loop so I'll use that interchangeably. Um, so real quick uh, let's take a look at the uh, pieces that make up this PID loop, which actually, as I said, we're only going to deal with the proportional only at this point. Uh, they are the proportional band and the dead band. Those are the only two components to the proportional only PID loop. Um, and based on this particular one, we we're using a P band or a proportional band of 80%. Uh, the dead band is zero. Um, to show it a little bit more, I've got a little graph here we'll pull in. And right here, um, essentially you have a, a set point which is in the middle um, based on how far away back and forth of the set point it is uh, will spit out a particular control percentage 0 to 100% uh, so if our set point was 50% and we're here that would mean that the proportional band being 80 would mean that we're 40% this direction or 40% that direction so in the case of this being 50 if we were 40% lower than set point, which would mean we were only at 10% of the relative humidity, that would mean that our output would be somewhere around maybe 80-90% uh, open. Therefore, we're trying to put more humidity in the room. Now, if our set point was 50% and we are, uh, say, at 90% uh, humidity, well, then we want to close down that humidifier valve and the controller output is going to be somewhere at around 10-20%. to 20%. That's essentially how the scaling for this uh, particular P loop. The, the dead band, which we're not going to be using right now, I'm going to zero it out, would essentially just kind of break apart and would be this shaded area. Therefore, even if you were just a little bit over or a little bit under set point, you're really not going to affect your controller until you're outside the dead band. Then you would begin to change your controller percentage or your PID loop percentage. All right, let's swing that out of there. And uh, here, what we'll do just to test some things out is uh, right now we're looking at 50% on the input. And I'm sorry, I kind of moved these just to make it easier to see. Uh, the 50% here are the same duct humidity uh, setting set points and inputs right here. So if it's 50%, uh, with all thing el everything else being still and, and stable, uh, we're looking at a 50% controller to maintain that. Now, proportional only means it, it makes no adjustments. If I uh, if I it makes no adjustments on its own automatically. So what will happen is, is if I go here and I change this to say zero, it makes one change, forces it to 100%, and it'll stay there. If um, a As it moves, it only makes one decision. It says, how far away am I from set point? Give me a percentage. That's all it'll do. So what I'll do here is I'm going to change it back to say 100 and go the other scale. It'll flip back around and give me 0%. 
the important thing to look at is that when we're at 50, let's say the humidity began to rise in the room and maybe only went to 55%. It's going to spit out a percentage number of 43%, which would translate to the humidifier. The thing that the proportional only CO will do or the PID loop will do is it will not continue to adjust. So if the humidity remained 55% in the room and never moved, the humidifier valve would not move either. And essentially what you would have is you would always be maintaining 55% humidity and never making set point. We'll go in on the next video talking about PI loops or proportional and integral loops. In the PI loop, what we'll do is adjust the bias here so that it'll give the little ticks to the percentage of the PID loop to continue to tick up or tick down the humidifier valve in that way being able to get closer and closer to set point without large drastic changes. Well thanks for uh, watching this video I know it was a short one but uh, there's still more to come and definitely more information to talk about this particular system. Uh, I'm able to control freak and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube video as well as my newsletter updates that way you can know when I come out with the next video. Alright we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.